In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Mega on a Windows 10 PC. What is Mega? Mega is a secure cloud-based storage system that allows you to share your files and save your files online in the safest way possible. It has end-to-end -end encryption and it's also an excellent alternative to Google Drive. So if you're looking for a free alternative to Google Drive, this is one safe way to back up your files and store them online. Now with your free account, you'll have access to 50 gigs of storage space, a secure messenger that you can communicate with friends and family, and you'll be able to sync your documents across all platforms, which includes Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So that's an explanation of the service. Now we'll show you how to install it. So to get started, we're going to head over to the Mega website. The official domain for this is mega.nz. And we're going to click on create account. And this is where you're going to enter in your personal information, which is your first name, your last name, an email address, and then a password. And it'll get you to retype the password after that. So once you've created your account, you can sign in and we've already done that here. Uh, this is a quick look at the dashboard where we have the 50 gigs of allocated space for us. And then on the right hand side, it keeps track of your transfer quota and your storage quota. So you know how you're using the service. On the left hand side, we have the cloud drive, recent documents, shared items, uh, contacts, and the messenger. So inside the messenger, this is where you can have a secure chat with people. You can share links to files and other stuff as well. So one of the main things that you're going to want to do uh, to allocate and use this space effectively is to install their app. So by doing that, you can go to the official URL, which is mega.nz slash sync. And over here, you'll see the three versions that are available, Windows, Mac and Linux. We have a Windows 10 PC, so we're going to download the Windows 10 version. OK, so we're going to start off the wizard. And the first thing it's going to ask us to do is select a language, hit OK. And then we're going to go through the wizard here and click on Next. And License Agreement, you can click on Agree. And then how you want to install it, we like to install for all users. Then you can click on Install, and it'll install all the files. And while it's installing, if you enjoy our videos, don't forget to hit that Like button. So that's pretty quick. Um, there's a shortcut on the desktop and we like to leave the run checked so it automatically starts it up when we click on finish. So click on finish here and it'll boot up right away. The first thing it's going to want to do is uh, log in. So you can click on the login button and then you're going to type in the email address and password that you just created on the website. So we'll go ahead in here and type in our email address. Okay. And then we'll type in the password. And then we can just click on login. So once you click on login, it'll automatically populate the information and update the sync app, which is in your desktop tray. And it's going to ask you how you want to use the app. So over here, you can either do a full sync of your documents or select just specific folders. Uh, I'm going to skip this, but you can use whichever you like. Uh, so for this example, we're going to skip it. And it's going to minimize automatically. It's going to minimize automatically in the tray here. There is the icon. And so what we can do is you can click on it and that's how you access it quickly on your desktop. So here you get to see your quota and everything else. And I'll just download a file so you can see. So this is what I have on the cloud space right now. Some ISO images from the past and I can just click on that and hit OK. And now I can specify the folder I want to download it. And if you haven't already specified it, it'll prompt you. But it's downloading that and we'll go back in here and check it out. And you can see that it's downloading. And what I can do also is I can upload a file at the same time. So it'll ask me to search on my computer. And then what I'll do is I'll just go into my downloads folder and I'll just take a, how about I just use the, I'll use the mega sync file and I'll open it and it's automatically going to ask me where to go and it's going to upload right there. It's fairly fast. As you can see, the speeds I'm getting here is pretty quick. Faster than Google Drive, I'd say. And then you can click on show and folder and there you go. So that is how you install the desktop sync app on your PC. Uh, it's easy, it's quick, it's fast, and it's an excellent alternative to Google Drive. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a like. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching.